The Pythagorean theorem is very useful to us. However, it is interesting to see how it can be proven. Let's look at one proof that has been developed. Let's consider a right triangle where A and B are the legs and C is the hypotenuse. We'll shrink it a bit. We'll draw a square next to side A that is A units in both length and width. This means its area is A squared. Next we'll draw a square next to the B side which has a length and width of B. The area of this square is B squared. Finally, we'll draw a square next to the hypotenuse C, which is C units in both length and width. Its area is C squared. Now we'll arrange these objects into two groups like this. Notice this is our original right triangle, ABC. Now we'll make seven more exact copies of this triangle, so we have eight identical triangles altogether. We've colored some darker and some lighter, but they're still all the same size and shape, as we can see when we stack them together. Now we'll arrange the four triangles on the left side so that they make a square like this. Notice the width of this square is A plus B. And the length is also A plus B, which means the area of this square is a plus b in brackets squared. Now we'll take the four identical triangles on the right side and arrange them around the c squared square, like this. Remember the shorter leg on our triangle is a and the longer leg is b, so we'll label these on here. You can see that the width of the square on the right is a plus b and the length of the square is also a plus b. Therefore, the area of the square on the right is also equal to a plus b in brackets squared. So we see the square on the left and the square on the right have equal areas. Study the two squares and make sure to convince yourself that this is true. Notice the total area in the square on the left is made up of a squared plus b squared plus four identical triangles that we numbered 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the total area in the square on the right is made up of c squared plus those same four identical triangles 1, 2, 3, and 4. And remember, the two squares have equal areas. What we'll do now is take away the four identical triangles from both sides. Because we're subtracting the same things from both sides, the two areas will remain equal to each other. So this is what we have left. The total area, a squared plus b squared, is equal to the area, c squared. And we're also left with the equation, a squared plus b squared, is equal to c squared. After compacting everything a bit, we see that this is just the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared for any right triangle. This proof works no matter what dimensions our right triangle is. Here's a right triangle that is wider and shorter than the previous one we worked with. We'll add squares to this just like we did to the previous one, a squared, b squared, and c squared. And move things around like this. We'll make identical copies of our triangle and fit them around our squares, like this. We see again that the width and length of both squares is a plus b. And the area of both squares is a plus b in brackets squared. So these squares have equal areas. And the total area of the left square, which is a squared plus b squared plus four identical triangles, is equal to the total area of the right square, which is c squared plus four identical triangles. So we have this. When we remove the four identical triangles from both sides, 
we're left with a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, which again is the Pythagorean theorem. This proof will work no matter what right triangle we start with. Thank you.